Yeah, so that is 2015, um, the first NCA title. We had run well all year. Uh, we had had incredible depth, and it really started coming together at the University of Wisconsin at the Nutty Comb Invitational. It's the only time we ever talked about potentially winning an NCAA championship. We didn't talk about it before the NCAA meet itself, but after the Wisconsin meet about a month and a week before, and we had told them, you know, we think you may be the best team in the history of the sport. You guys have a chance to do something special. That meeting lasted about five minutes. Didn't talk much, just told them, you know, you guys have the potential to be really, really good. Then you fast forward five weeks and Things I remember about that day, uh, walking up to the course, I remember that, it was a little chilly outside. Uh, I remember the start, we had chaos at the start. We had people wanting to change spikes literally three minutes before. I think somebody might have thrown up. Uh, <laughs> the race started, I put on my headphones. Um, nothing I could do at that point. You know, we didn't get out particularly well. I think at the first checkpoint, we may have been in fourth place. And then by the second ch checkpoint, it, it was over. Uh, we had moved up really well in the pack. We had a massive group of women. Uh, and it, it was unbelievably special to see those women coming down the hill in Louisville. And crossing the line all in the top 25. Uh, it was just, it gives me goosebumps right now. After the race, um, Jimmy and I were, were walking probably 600 meters away. We wanted the, the women to enjoy that moment by themselves. And you can see the look on their face afterwards with what they had accomplished. They're, they're the best women's cross country team in modern history.